Hi all, I just wanted to make a little PSA video of sorts that I've been thinking about for a while now, but I just haven't done for a lot of things, and I wanted to tell you guys how a lot of 78s out there, well, practically the majority of 78s you can get out there, you can get for almost nothing. This is um, almost all of something that I've acquired recently for... I think about uh, $4 total at a, uh, a little yard sale where I just got all of the stuff here in good condition and in uh, like around BG, uh, V, uh, and a couple others. Like uh, I think some of the stuff here is E quality here. It's going to be showing the stuff here, not really uh, intent on. Going in detail here, y'all can look up this flip, the uh, the flip sides whenever you want to. But really, some of the stuff too, um, like like this one here by Frankie Carl here. Notice the uh, the quality with it, despite all the uh, the visual cracks and all this stuff. Something like this, uh, in my experience, will actually play um, a lot of times fairly well as as well. But it just, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of people will think that, well, because something like this is cracked, then by default, uh, a record can't be played or it'll just not be audible whatsoever. And in many, many cases with 78s, that just, 78s are such a thing where, where, um, Things like this that even are so worn like this can a lot of times end up just sounding beautifully. And I've, I've expressed that a lot of times through the descriptions and uh, otherwise just by letting the music play over the last five years or so on my channel now. And um, it just like sort of, I guess like, I mean, to people that aren't like collecting specifically for the sake of like having the most rarest um best things of all time like uh, the John Teftellers or the um, or the Joe Buzzards of the collecting world out there of 78s and just for the average person just you don't need to take all the risk and everything to find really good stuff out here and just going to thrift stores and uh, and yard sales and all that just looking for whatever and finding stuff that you've never found before that is, you know, you can find stuff like this and granted once cleaning stuff, it can sometimes even reveal a, um, a whole grade quality difference as well. But it just, yeah, just I wanted to say that like, it's always worth coming across something like giving something a chance. Now, most recently with this, the most recent example is the other record I'm not showing here in the collection here um, because it's very delicate because of how it's been damaged is one Slovakian uh, Columbia that I've had here that it's practically cracked from one side down to the other and I'll get it in a moment but it's only being held together by the label but if you just go over to that video which I'll link in the description you can find that it is the crack is barely even audible and the musical side of it everything just sounds great on it for and uh for a record that's been abused as much as it has and here it is so yeah the whole thing is being held up i'm not sure if it shows that clearly on the camera and i'm not going to let it with uh, gravity just affect it that much but um it is held together only by the label it is cracked entirely through but it's a lamp it's almost like a a hairline crack not a lamb crack so yeah this is how it is whenever you put it on a platter and whenever it comes to actually playing it it sounds like this <laughs> And 
the same thing on the flip side too, but I'm not going to mess around with it there. You can see again in the links in the description, but really what I is just going to show that you can just really, if you just look for a record and you, you give it a chance, you can be the essentially the record savior and be saving, you know, a equally deserving piece of history as the others just because, you know, its condition is worse for wear doesn't mean you shouldn't try. And that's really all I'm saying with this. So, yes, please do try with everything. Um, that is the only way that we're going to be able to keep all this stuff alive for another century is if you try to preserve everything you possibly can. Now, granted, that's not me uh, endorsing how many collectors, especially my age, will have thousands upon thousands of 78s and just uh, become somewhat of a quiet burden upon their family or something. No. Uh, yeah, don't do that. At least, uh, unless, you know, your family's fine with it or whatever. But, yeah, um, that's about it. And to prove, uh, to prove more, I'm going to show you it on the... Uh, on the Columbia that I was just showing earlier. And here. All the way through. Perfectly fine. Well, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to have another upload later tonight of that National Music Lovers and then uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, yep, that's about it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that this message gets through to some newer collectors, at least, if not others. So, yeah, I'll see you guys around.